Hills. Long ago in Persia, there was a place known as the Valley of the Angel of Death. Ghouls lived there. Travelers were terrified of passing through that land because the ghouls would lure them into their caves to rob and kill them. The ghouls were cannibals. No one had seen their real shape, but they were said to be ghastly. They were shapeshifters and could transform themselves into any human being or animal or bird to trap the travelers. They spoke softly and made melodious music, played out lavish feasts and comforts to entice those who passed that way. However, the ghouls, though evil and cruel, were rather stupid. The people of Isfahan were known for their clever and cunning nature. One day, Amin Beg of Isfahan had to travel through the dreaded valley. Knowing he could meet a ghoul who would try to befool him, he decided, I must be prepared to outwit the ghoul. Amin Beg meets a ghoul. Amin Beg set off with an egg and a piece lump of salt in his pocket. As expected, a cool looking human stopped him. Hello, aren't you Amin Beg? I am your old family friend Kareem. You have taken a wrong turn. I'll show you the way, said the ghoul. You are it Kareem, replied Amin. You are a ghoul. Before I come with you, let's see who is stronger. Amin picked up a stone and asked the ghoul to press some juice out of it. The ghoul tried but failed. Amin picked up the stone and hiding the egg in his palm, he squeezed it. The ghoul was amazed at the juice coming out. Then Amin asked the ghoul to crush a stone into salt powder. Again, the ghoul failed. This time, Amin crushed the lump of salt and the stunned ghoul tasted the salt. He took Amin to his cave to look after him. The cave. The cave was smelly and foul, with bones of dead men and animals everywhere. A lot of treasures, plundered by the ghoul, also lay there. The ghoul asked Amin to fill up a water bag made of skin from the stream inside, while he got some firewood to cook the food. The water bag was huge, and Amin knew he couldn't carry it, so he dug a channel from the stream to bring water into the cave. He befooled the stupid ghoul to believe that he dug the canal for him to have water always. After the meal, the ghoul slept, but Amin was alert. He put a pillow into his bed and waited, hiding nearby. The ghoul got up stealthily and beat the bed seven times with a thick cudgel. In the morning, he was horrified to see Amin waking up alive and well. Frightened out of his wits, the ghoul ran away from the cave. Amin the Witty Amin collected all the treasure he could carry and came out of the cave to continue on his way. He saw the ghoul with his heavy cudgel on his shoulder coming back led by a fox. Foxes are willy creatures, thought Amin. This fox must have told the ghoul that I am not so strong as I pretended. Now I must befool the stupid ghoul before he attacks me. So he called out loudly, Hey foxy, I told you to fetch seven ghouls for me to take to Isfahan. You have brought back just one, the same fellow. Go and fetch some more. Before the fox could understand what was going on, the terrified ghoul said, You befooled me, fox. He ran for his life. The fox realized that he had been outwitted by this clever man from Isfahan, and without waiting to hear anything more, he vanished into the forest. I mean, happily walked home. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.